It's time, people. Oh, yeah. It's time for another homebrew Wednesday. Check this out. Now, how have we done that? Homebrew, fizzy, no sediment. It all comes down to this little fella. Look at that. So, seeing as I'm far too busy to be doing another comedy edition of Harry Brew's Homebrew Wednesday, look at that. It is clear, it's just steamy, cloudy. Not cloudy, you know what I mean. Frosted. Yeah. So there we go. A nice sparkling homebrew. Ice cold. And carbonated. So I've come up with an idea. I saw a guy, a couple of guys on YouTube have done something similar. You can buy something and it's all to carbonate your own beers using what is known as, as a bolt in tyre valve you just bolt these little babies in um, you know to any normal wheels but on this occasion we're going to be bolting one into a bottle cap sponsored by Tango <laughs> and this allows us to carbonate the bottles with use of this little fella here, which is a, uh, um, I forget the name of it. I'll put it down here so you can see, and I'll put some links up so uh, you can see where to buy this stuff from. So this is from your CO2 tank. This little fella's in your pot bottle or beer bottle. And once you've got all you do, just like inflating a car tyre, you put about 40 psi into your bottle, and you've got fizzy beer, no sediment. No sediment whatsoever. And then you can put it to one side and leave it to carbonate as normal. So I'll just move the camera and I'll show you guys how to knock one of these up. Cheers. Well, I think you can see this. So let's start with the most basic things here. We have a bottle cap and a drill bit. This is the right size of drill bit to fit into this particular bolting valve. You'll have to me measure it yourself or do just an experiment and increase the sizes. There we go, just watch your fingers, obviously. that that's a very very easy part then next we just want a little craft knife and what we're gonna do is just trim this level just like that just like that so we don't want this in the beer then the same on the inside we're just gonna go around the inside and snick off the swarf from the drill and there we go then we will proceed to take our bolt on tie valve now this will come with a cap there's the valve inside that's the dust cap the bolt one steel washer depending on what kind you get and this may be either a rubber one or in this case it's a nylon washer and then at the bottom you have a rubber gasket or washer and then the bottom so what we're going to do is pop that in there if we can get it to fit 
Hang on a sec. Bit tight. There we are. So that's in there. And you want your nylon washer back on. Your steel washer back on. And your nut. Just tighten these down. Now what I've done for this particular type, because it, I found that too tight and you would be pushing the uh, the nylon washer to one side. So I just clamp it there in the jaws of the spanner, adjustable spanner, and then we just go hand tight with the driver. You don't really need to be stupidly tight on there and that will create actually quite a good seal. So um, the next thing I think is put it on a bottle. When you do fill them up and you pressurise them, it is quite important to do a couple of things. Just squeeze all the air out like this before you put the lid on. If you can see that, just. And then when you fill it up with CO2, all that will be gone. Uh, full of CO2 and uh, and you want to shake it about. In fact I'll take you into the other shed and we'll show you how to get on with that in a second. Just hold on. Right then boys and girls, here we are in the other shed. I've just primed one of my kegs with 40 psi. So now I'm going to pop this onto the gas in post. And now this little fella is primed I'm ready to go with 40 psi behind him. So if I just take the dust cap off of our little contraption, I'll hold this up here so you can see. Let's get a good shot. There we are. And then I don't know if you can hear that going in there, but it is. Just adjust this a little bit. So that now has 40 psi in it. And the trick is to give it a good shake, and the beer will take up all that CO2, and then we'll push a bit more in. Well, if you can see the foam drop in there, but the pressure's forcing the foam down. shake again you watch that foam there you see how it just drops it down and that <coughs> look at that that's rock hard rock hard so just thought you might find that handy should you want to Pressurise your own beer bottles. Simple to do. Cheap, about six pounds for four of these. About four quid for the little valve. Um, so yeah, there we go. So don't forget, you can of course tune in next week and we'll do something else. Cheers guys, keep up the good work. Ciao.